Good day, boys and girls. Welcome to another uh, fleet review on the Auto Mojo channel. Today I'm driving a 2017 Subaru Outback. Uh, this is the 2 litre turbo diesel variant with the CVT and it's just in standard trim. And I'm really interested in uh, purchasing this car or a similar uh, style wagon for dad duties. Um, and more so this review will focus on the performance of the CVT transmission. So it's not like a standard uh, gearbox with uh, traditional cogs or gears. There's a little bit of lurch. It's a nice uh, grip from the all wheel drive Subaru is known for. It's actually got quite a weird sensation where the, the revs hang around its uh, peak torque producing RPM. And in the case of this uh, turbo diesel, uh, all, the, all the torque is uh, generated quite low, so around 2000 RPM to 3000 RPM. So it is a kind of a weird sensation if you're just driving normally and you're accelerating but the revs don't move. One thing I really like about the Outback compared to say a um, SUV style vehicle is that it handles really really well, more like a station wagon that's slightly raised, but stays quite level around our corners. Anyways, back to this CVT. You can actually uh, manipulate the dynamics of the gear shifts with the right foot, um, as well as the paddle shifts. So let's just test this out on a semi-steep hill with uh, using the paddle shifts. And this is wide open throttle. Notice a little bit of the elastic band, rubber band, feeling of the CBT. And the revs climbing up. But to be totally honest, this car, it, it kind of feels pointless redlining it because all the power comes at around 2,000-3,000 RPM. So let's try that again but on a flatter road. Same deal, wide open throttle, paddle shifts. Just notice that sort of laggy delay. Clearly here that was the CVT trying to catch up, making up the gears the uh, virtual gears, and there's seven of them. So we're now around 160 kilometers per hour. Let's just uh, go back to normal mode and we'll just try that again. Get to the same speed in it. Accelerating and it's just so much smoother. Coupled with how quiet uh, this, this interior and engine is, it's, it's probably one of the quietest vehicles I've ever driven. So the CVT, is it the Achilles heel? I'm in two minds um, and kind of have a love-hate relationship about it. I love it for the ease of just jumping in and how smooth and silky um, the ride is. And at the same time I like that you can dynamically get the revs to shift at high points. 
when you put your foot down. But at the same time, when doing so, there's sometimes a little bit of that um, elastic rubber band type feel. Um, you can sort of hear it in the previous um, run um, that I did before, but I would recommend checking out like a visual explanation of how CBT transmission works just to see why that little rubber band and elastic feeling um, sensation occurs. I can see why tuning would benefit this, um, and, I, and I think the WRX model has quite a sophisticated um, selection of drive modes for this very same purpose. And I've got a mate who's got the latest WRX, so I've definitely got to hit him up for a ride to test that out, as well as put myself in for a test drive of the little Vorg. Um, that almost ticks all the boxes in my head, that's the perfect uh, dad wagon, just uh, the CBT thing. So uh, thanks for watching this quick review, um, hope you enjoyed it, cheers.